I'm a big fan of Carl and of course the, the work, the atelier, the, the couture atelier for Chanel is one of the oldest in the world and it's still one of the few left, you know, they're still working that way. And I'm a gigantic fan of Amanda Harlick who works with Carl and she's a friend and she always comes out with the beautiful ideas and so I think that is a wonderful combination and I look forward every time I come to the Grand Palais I'm always like taken by um, surprise about what they invented this time. Perfect. 
it was my dream to have a house like this, but I don't get the permission in France for build a house like this. Thank you so much. Hmm? So and it goes also with the, as everything is in wood and things like this. Well, I think it all matched well, no? Yeah? I think, the, and you know, I also bear stresses. I, I saw it on TV back that look very well in here, and you must not uh, forget that in the 20s, before she made a little black dress, uh, Chanel was called the queen of the beige. And I never made a Chanel uh, uh, collection, all nearly all beige, and I'm doing it for 33 years. I don't think I have to go copyright for that because it has nothing to do with the statue. That was the inspiration. I mean, it doesn't look it, it, it is unrelated to it, but the hair and the big eye with the double, huh? that is the inspiration. You cannot say that she has the same nose. Huh? No, but, but you know, there's an influence of everything, but it's not an influence. And they say, now let's do Japanese. And they say, now kimonos. Huh? No, 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 no. It's a kind of uh, relaxed Zen attitude uh, in, in the modern spirit of today or in, in the spirit it should be.